In this video, I want to look at the data structure Q and bring out some of the components that we looked at in the last video. A Q is an interface, so therefore it needs some kind of data structure to implement it. So we use, in this video, a linked list to act as a Q. Notice when you do this, you need to import linked list from the util package and Q from the util package. So we have named our Q nums and it is of the data type integer. The first thing that we want to do is look at what is inside of the Q before the Q even runs. And when we compile and run it, we see that it pulls null out of there. And as we said in the last video, if you tried to pull element out of there, which in effect does the same thing as peak, it should throw an error. And it does. No such element exception. And the reason is, is that there is nothing inside of the queue. Therefore, num's element is going to throw an error. We talked about the difference between the two methods that add something to a queue, offer and add. And I use them pretty much interchangeably to add them to the queue. And then we use peak and element again. And we can see when we run it that it pulls one both times. So element does work. It just doesn't work if you have an empty queue. And then what I do is after I've added all the items, I print out the queue and you can see that the queue prints like a stack or an array list or many other structures in the Java collections framework. And it prints with the bracket element comma and then with the end bracket. And what I do next is I use remove and pull to take out the items of the queue and then I print out the queue and you can see that there's nothing inside of there. If I use the pull method here, it is going to return null, meaning that there is nothing in the queue and therefore it's going to say null. But the problem with using remove here, if I try to remove another item and the queue is empty, it would throw an error, no such element exception. Again, because there isn't anything inside of the queue and pull will return null, but remove will throw an error given the same set of circumstances. All right, next what I've done is I have gone through and added more items to the queue. I've added one, two, three, four using a loop. And you can see right here that I've used the offer method. I could have used the add method. It would have done the same thing. But you see it's returning true every time. And the reason why it returns true is that when you call the method, it is not returning the item that you're adding to the queue. It's returning true or false whether the item was able to be put in the queue. And so you see all of our elements were put onto the queue. Next, I print out the queue showing that the numbers are there. And then I create an iterator to go through the queue and print out each of the items. And the reason why I have commented out a list iterator is because although we are using a list, we are using a linked list, we cannot use a list iterator with a queue. And the reason is, is because we have declared it as a queue over here. And when you do that, you lose all other methods of the linked list class, which one of the methods would be to create a list iterator. And so we can only use the methods of the queue interface when we construct a queue this way, which is a good thing because a queue will only act the way a queue should, that being in a first in, first out manner. So then you may ask, well, why can you use iterator and not list iterator? Well, because a queue is a collection and collection uses the iteratable interface. And so therefore all collections can be iterated through. Not all collections, including a queue, can use a list iterator. And so then we can see down here that it prints out all of the information. And then finally, I use the is empty method of the queue class to remove all of the items. And down here, I've gone a little bit further and I show you different methods of the linked list class. All of these right here would be able to work if this was a linked list, but because we declare it using a queue interface, whoops, forgot my semicolon, it's going to say can't find symbol because it does not know what this method is. It does not know what this method is. It does not know what this method is because they are not part of the queue interface. So in this video, we've seen queues in action, adding information 
to the back of the line each time using offer and add. We've shown you the difference between peak and element and remove and pull and how they will return different things. And then finally we showed you, although we are using a linked list, because we're creating it as a queue object, it does not allow us to use all of the methods of the linked list and it is limited to just those inside of the queue interface or the classes that it inherits, which collections is one of those.